Hi everyone, Remus here, and welcome to another episode of Wind Down During Quarantine. As always, we hope everyone is at home, safe, healthy, and happy. Uh, again, we will dive into another two great wines we're featuring on our program here at OBC. And what do these two wines have in common? Even though they're coming from different parts of the world, both vineyards are producing wine and olive oil. So without any further ado, we're beginning with our first wine today, a delicious 100% Chardonnay from Puglia region in Italy. Coming from Tormaresca Vineyard, uh, this vineyard started producing in 1998 in Puglia or Apuglia, uh, what used to be uh, at that time Italy's largest wine producing region. Not only environmentally sustainable, but socially as well towards surrounding areas, regions and terroir. Uh, the grapes immediately upon arrival are destemmed and gently crushed and the must is cooled down to a controlled temperature for 24 hours and then transferred to temperature controlled stainless steel tanks for the alcoholic fermentation at 61%, uh, 61 degrees Fahrenheit and then kept in steel. This wine doesn't see uh, any malolactic fermentation, reason why this wine is vibrant, crisp and what is described by Tormaresca Vineyard taste like sea. The color is a light yellow with a green, greenish highlight. Uh, on the nose this wine is predominantly fruity with apple, citrus and has a delicate floral uh, nose as well. And on the palate this wine is fresh and well balanced with a light balsamic like note. Uh, at 12.5% alcohol, this wine is best paired with our Pensier uh, chicken breast from our uh, menu or you can enjoy it on its own. Moving to our second wine today, we have a Cabernet Sauvignon from B.R. Cone Vineyard. The winery is situated between Sonoma Mountains and the Mayacamas mountain range in the scenic Glen Allen and was founded by Bruce Cone in 1984. The climatic factors combined with a vineyard being situated over hot springs result in early bud breaks and extended growing season for the fruit. Therefore, all the grapes here develop full tannins and flavor profiles every year, even in the most challenging vintages. Besides Cabernet Sauvignon, B.R. Cone is also producing Petit Syrah, Zin, Cap Franc, Petit Verdot, and Malbec. Uh, this Cabernet Sauvignon in particular is bold and rich and on the nose it hits with cassis with black cherry mint violet and all combined with a bouquet of pungent oak anise and a warm vanilla from barrel usage on the palate this wine has lush cherry caramel clove all wrapped in smooth tannins and long juicy finish uh, 14 and a half percent alcohol this wine is best enjoyed with steak pasta with meatballs, strong cheeses, but also with your favorite dark chocolate. I hope you enjoy it. Remus? 